when Joan was 10 years old and working on her first protest in Palo Alto. <laughs> I was a Marine Rifle Platoon leader leading bayonet assaults in Korea. <laughs> so you have a former Marine introducing the most famous Quaker in America. <laughs> but in 1917, our congressman suddenly died. And Joan had been leading protests up and down the peninsula. I think she'd been in jail for the first time by that time for stopping people from registering for the draft in Oakland. And I ran for Congress. So do I have any choice? I was the first Republican elected opposing the Vietnam War, trying to follow in Joan's footsteps. And I've been doing that ever since. She, uh, you know, we celebrate her for the environment, and she and I come from a town, as my wife does, that can still hear the coyotes howling at night in Woodside. Uh, sitting next to her is my wife. I've taken her to testify in seven legislative committees in three states against the Lake Gold traps and shooting New Me coyotes for sport in New Mexico. So trying to living up to women is a very <laughs> difficult thing for any politician. Is the mayor still here? <laughs> he knows more than most. But Joan, if there was public opinion that felt one way. Joan protested and took the other. She was 20 years ahead of her time. Civil rights, women's rights, gay rights, same-sex marriage. She testified against every war that's been fought since the Vietnam War when Congress voted overwhelmingly to authorize that war. Same thing when we went to war in Iraq. Joan's out there speaking against the war. The Congress is voting for it. She has stood courageously for more causes She's probably inspired more people in good causes than anybody in America. It's kind of an honor to follow in her footsteps as I've tried to do it, no way to keep up with her. She marched with Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez. I marched with Coretta King and, and uh, Dolores Fuerta. So we, the, the, message of, the message of Joan as the first speaker said, is the message of hope. That you don't get in despair. You can watch Fox News and be in despair, as most of us are most of the time, wondering which of these two guys is going to badger the other one into exchanging nuclear weapons. It's a scary time. But the hope that Joan has given to people all over the world, homeless people, poor people in Africa, poor people in Latin America, the time she's gone to jail, I on her, she went to Hanoi. In 1972, I was taken on Nixon in New Hampshire. She goes with presents for the prisoners in the Hanoi Hilton. And I'm, I'm wondering if any of her presents ever got through to John McCain and urged him to have the courage to stand up to the president a few weeks ago. So, let me have the honor of introducing perhaps the most inspirational woman of our time, Joan Boyesby. 